Hello, welcome to my stream. Today I'll be playing more of The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. And last week I finally uh, started doing the dungeons of the game. I went to the fire dungeon and we were able to get the, the spirit of power. I believe it's Din. So after that we also went to the to the central dungeon of the game, I believe it is the Palace of the Ocean King, I believe that's the name of it. And then we were able to find another uh, sea chart that showed us the way to the next dungeon. And after exploring the, the maze that is related to the ghost ship, we were able to get to the island that has the second dungeon. So today I believe I will be able to do it. Hey Kurt, hello, how are you doing? How was your Halloween? I'm not sure if you guys celebrate Halloween. Uh, in here it's not very strong, it's not something that we celebrate uh, like a holiday. But maybe, I don't know, maybe you guys did something. I know that in Sweden it's not very common or it's not very popular. But I'm not sure how it is in Slovenia. But yes, how, how are you doing? So let me start the game and let's see if I can open the way to the second dungeon. I'm still missing some exploration in this game because I really want to get some more pieces of heart and do some side questing. But so far the game is still very linear regarding progress. So I hope it changes at some point and hopefully soon so it's the Isle of Gust okay that's the place that has the second dungeon let's go there you don't celebrate it in there only some houses are decorated yes I could say the same here yeah we have also no kids dressing up to go trick-or-treating uh, there are some few places that celebrate Halloween but they are very specific and they do it to um, what's the name they do it to promote themselves like a special uh, party right so yeah but in general normal houses and normal people won't celebrate Halloween here I believe it's more like an American thing or Canada or maybe in Canada too. I'm not sure if it is even celebrated in Europe. Oh, we found an island. Well, that was lucky. Because I wasn't looking for islands or um, I was not intending to explore in here. Maybe you should check it first. Yes, I want to check it, out, check it out first. Let me change my route. If I wanted, I I could watch a, a, a horror movie yesterday to celebrate Halloween somehow, but also I'm not a huge fan of horror movies, so Halloween was very normal for me. What? Look at the upper screen. There is no map of this island. That means no one has even set foot here. 
Think of all the undiscovered treasure. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. How could there be if no one's been here before? Maybe someone who knows deeply about treasure. Um, bird something? But whatever, I just know that there's treasure here, Dion. How he knows about that? Oh, you watched the new It movie? You did it yesterday? Oh, that was already a great thing. I really like that movie. I watched it too. Uh, have you ever watched the original? Or have you ever read the book? Hey early, hi, how are you doing man? I like the new Eerie movie, but in my opinion the movie of the year was the new Blade Runner. Oh you watched the original movie, that's good. So you probably uh, wasn't, wait, you probably weren't, you probably weren't very lost in the new movie, right? That was my biggest concern, if people that don't know anything about the story or the plot of it, if they would be able to understand the plot uh, by watching the new movie. Yeah, the new movie was good, I agree. I only think it was a little bit overrated or overhyped, but... It's still a very good movie. I'm good too, man. And how about you? Oh, you just answered there. You're good. Uh, are you at work right now? It is too bad that the next one will come in September 2019. About the second movie. I'm not sure if I will watch it in the movies. Because I believe that it will get much more darker and creepy than the first one you are living in a few oh that's nice man that's good it, it, it is five uh, it is, is it five in there uh, 5 p.m. in there 5 p.m. and a half or is it four maybe it is four yeah because I believe that now we have two hours uh, yeah, it's four, right? We have two hours of difference between our time zones. But yes, I don't think I will have enough courage to watch the second movie on the movies. Because I believe it will get much more creepy and darker. So I would prefer to watch it at home. Especially because in the second movie they will really fight the the thing, right? They will really fight Pennywise. So I'm a little bit worried about that fight and how he will look and things like that. As I'm not a huge horror movie fan. Indeed, and the movie won't feel like... Is Stranger Things or uh, it won't have the adventure vibe anymore that some movies with kids uh, that they have like The Goonies, Stranger Things, The Series or Stand By Me that adventure feeling with young children will, will be lost because now they will be grown up and they will uh, fight the Rio monster so it will turn into a real horror movie in my opinion I'm not saying that I won't watch it I really want to see it but I don't think I will watch it on the movies because it will be too creepy so these guys are back in this game I believe they are um, go goblins or something like that. The name of them. Maybe it is bow goblins.
Okay, first I'm killing all the enemies in here. Sorry, yellow tutu. And then I will try to use my, my shovel and look for treasure. Also, I need to talk to the stones, right? Let's see what they have to tell me. Wait, nothing? Usually they tell me something. They are all silent in this island, which is very weird. Maybe only one of them will tell me something useful. Okay, finally. On this isle, a golden chief dwells who can harness the power of sea cyclones. Oh, that, that sounds something, wait, that sounds like something very useful. If this works just like in Wind Waker, we might be able to fast travel by using the Cyclones. At his request, I am here to prevent just anyone from entering his chamber. You must prove yourself by hitting four of my buddies in a very specific order. But to figure out the order, you must solve our island's enormous riddle. Ready to listen? The order is very specific, okay, then I'm going to say it. Let's pay attention in here. Uh, it steers with rudder. Okay, I need your help. What's rudder? I don't know what that is. Then makes a spray. And third, it pedals, then sees away. It steers with rudder, then makes a spray. And third, it pedals, then sees away. Wait. Rudder, spray, paddles, and seize away. Uh, maybe I can figure it out by elimination. Uh, rudder, I already forgot. Wait, rudder, uh, paddles is the third, and seize away is the fourth. I forgot this, the second. I believe it's, it's steers. Uh, it's steer, paddle, and then. Uh, seize, seize away. It's something like that. Okay, let me read it again. My memory is not good right now. Rudder is oh, it's spray. Okay, it's not steer. It's spray. Rudder is spray. Paddle, seize away. Yes. What is rudder? Rudder is spray paddles and sees away. Did you know there are six golden frogs stationed around the entire sea? I believe I found some of them. A rudder is the small fin on the back of, of a boat under the water that helps you steer. Okay, I, I, I understand it now. It was very specific. Maybe, oh, wait a minute, the shape of this island, it might be related to, is it a whale? Because it might look like a whale. I believe this island looks like a whale. 
yeah it totally looks like a whale so the rudder would be the the tail of the the whale right But where is it? Oh wait, I messed with my emulator now. Uh, let me fix it. There we go. Oh, this is the, the one. Okay, this is the first one. This is the stone related to the rudder. There are gold frogs around the sea that can kick up cyclones. I didn't know they were able to do it. So this is the first. The second is the spray one. This is the spray, so this is the second, okay? Then the next one is the, let me try to remember, pedal, so it is the... You are going home now? Okay, early, drive safe, man. The pedal is the... I don't know how to call that in English. Maybe it has the same name. Uh, maybe it is a pedal of the way, but I'm not sure if you can call it as a pedal. Maybe you can call it as a fin. But this is the third one. The golden frogs will slip away unless you use a cannon on them. Yes, that I already knew. And the final one might be this one. Seize away. Yeah, it might be the eye. You can fly to a variety of spots using cyclones. So I was correct. This mechanic right here, it is just like the one in Wind Waker. I solved the puzzle. There we go. So let's see if, if we can get the power of the cyclones. Maybe there will be a dungeon in here. So what this stone has to tell me? The eye sees something valuable that's hidden underneath its statue. Underneath? So maybe I should use the, the shovel, right? I wish I could say that I will beat the second dungeon of the game before early gets home, but that that won't happen. <laughs> I'm still not there, so I, I can't say that. Oh, there is a, a frog right there.
We found the King Gold Frog. Well, buy my golden gizzard. I slow to wait, I slow to child. Whatever brings you here, slow to. You stand in the presence of the golden chief si Silos. I'm so fantastic that I'm the only frog hereabouts who leaps by cyclone. Slick, huh? Slow to. Is that not the phantom our glass that you carry? It certainly means most certainly and undoubtedly that you know old Oshus. We, we go way back, that old codger and me. He watched out for me until I found safe harbor in the secret spot. He's helping us look for the ghost ship. A girl named Tetra was taken away by it, and she's our friend. Ghost ship, you say? I have heard of that dreary vessel from my guilt minions. Do you have any notions as to where the ghost ship might be? Yeah, not a clue yet. First we need to save spirits that are scattered on the seas. Ah, but the sea must seem very vast for beings such as yourselves. V vastly vast. Uh, let me help you with a gift. Okay, so he will give us the power to fast travel. You got the cyclone slate. Use it at sea to travel by water spout. That is the cyclone slate. By drawing symbols on it, you can ride cyclones too. Want to leap elsewhere with your ship? Then spring into action with the slate. Could you tell us more about these symbols? My guilt minions are straw, straw? I have never seen that word before, are straw over the seas. Uh, six minions total, spark sparkling in the sun. I have found some of them, hopefully I don't need to, to get to them again. I believe I, I was able to find like three of them, if I'm right. They each know, they each know one symbol. Hey Victor, happy no longer Halloween. Yes man, how are you doing? The only one that was able to celebrate Halloween so far in here was early. Because neither myself, neither Kurt and neither Victor, we don't have any great celebrations or Halloween celebrations in our places, but early went to trick or treat yesterday. He and his daughter, they went to get some candies. How are you doing, Victor? Then by drawing symbols on the slate, your ship will fly to that spot in a flash. So all we need to do is meet the golden frogs and learn their symbols. I'm good too, man. It's a very chilling and normal Wednesday. But are you really sure that we can take something so wonderful with us? Well, we are already carrying the vent on our glass, so why not? How can I just sit back and do nothing for you, friends of Oshus? The sea is vast, and that will help you bridge the distances. Our deepest thanks, your golden majesty. No, no, that's golden chief. Let's see if he has anything else to say. Yes, at least someone did some trick or treating. Indeed, actually, it was uh, Early's daughter because he uh, he didn't get the the candies right, but he was there with his daughter. You don't think you have saw any kids trick or treating here whatsoever? Yeah, even if I tried to find uh, people in costumes in here or disguised in here, I probably wouldn't be able to. To find them. 
Only if I went to a specific place, like a Halloween party. I wonder if that was the only treasure, but it's not, right? Because there is a chest in there that I'm not able to get. You see? That that treasure chest. I still don't know how to get there. So, I will try my best to remember that I'm missing a treasure chest in here. You might have a problem, you might end up being a lot poorer by the end of the week. Is that because you are buying the Switch? Oh, it's because a guitar. Okay, so it's not because of the Switch. Why don't you buy the Switch instead? And how, how does it cost? How does the guitar cost? And thankfully, it's not because of your computer, right? You're not getting a computer. Yes, I believe we are good to go. And we will need to return to this island in the future. So, I explore more of it later. Yes, I was expecting you to buy the Switch instead. So how can I use that? Oh, that it is, the... The Slate. But I still don't know any symbols. Oh, I will need to talk to the frogs again. Oh boy. That sucks because I already found some of them. And now I will need to go all the way back and talk to them again. That, that sucks. But I won't focus on that now. Uh, let me go to the second dungeon. It is an online auction, so you don't know what the price will end up being, but you probably won't buy it if it ends up being much more than uh, 500 bucks. Yeah, be careful. Sometimes those auctions can be a trap. Do you know if there are a lot of people interested in getting the guitar? Enemy? Where is the enemy? Oh, right here. The stupid thing is, is that you already have a guitar that's just like it. I'm telling you, buy the Switch instead. You feel like you really shouldn't? Yeah, you shouldn't. If you want to hear it from another person, hello, don't get it. Buy the Switch. Okay, this might be the island. There are a few that has been on it already, one guy seems really interested in it, so it could get expensive. I don't think you should get it, Victor. But, I don't know, it's your money, it's your life, so if you want to try getting it, then feel free to do it. But if I were you, I would get the Switch.
this island has some crazy vertical pillars, right? Oh, and it's big. Wait a minute, is that a graveyard? Why would you have a graveyard in the island of Gust? Yes, you should get a switch instead. Did you post a picture of the guitar recently on Twitter? Because I remember seeing a, a picture of a guitar. I'm not sure if it was the one that you are talking right now. Or if it was one of yours... Oh, wait, if it was one of the guitars that you already have. At first I thought it was one of your guitars. We finally made it to the island. But this is sure one gusty IO. Yep, surely this has got to be the IO of Gust. So, you little green parrot, how about you go fly off in search of our next spirit? <coughs> so, you also need to save money so you can see a Halloween cons. Oh, it's not. <laughs> It's not Halloween anymore, but you want to go see the band, Halloween, in December. Are they playing near you? And I need to say something about the game right now. So, in the past, I, I tried playing this game. I wasn't sure if it was Phantom Hourglass or Spirit Tracks, but after starting playing this game, I'm sure that it was this one, it was Phantom Hourglass. And I do remember a little bit of this place, but just because of the mechanic of it. I remember that there is a mechanic and it was and it is related to wind, and I might need to use my microphone if I'm correct to activate it or to trigger it. And after uh, this place probably everything will be blind for me because I, I can't remember progressing after this place so yeah th that's one of my um, my few remaining memories from the time that I tried to play this game I remember that there was a mechanic related to wind and that I need to use my microphone so let's see if I'm right. The picture you post on Twitter is your is of your main guitar. The one you want to get now is the same model but black with crackle pattern. Okay, so it was one of yours. I see. But yes, man, I don't know. You can try getting it, but if things get very expensive, get out of that and buy a switch. Yeah, this was the one that I played before, not until the end. I believe this was the part where I finished playing the game. Uh, I remember that my computer crashed, so I lost all my progress uh, in the game. But I do remember something about a wind mechanic and with microphone. Yes, I, it is just like that. I believe the wind thing with the microphone sounds familiar. And it might happen in this aisle. But first we have a letter. This is a letter from the old wayfarer. I forgot who that... Oh wait, I remember now who that guy is. He is the guy that lives with the mermaid now, correct? Yes, Victor, and honestly, I will hope that it, it gets extremely expensive. That's my, that's my hope, because I do believe that you should get a Switch instead. Have you found yourself on the path of Wayfaring there? Don't fret it. Wait, don't fret if you haven't. You may already be on the way and not know it. Yes, finding your way isn't like discovering a pebble log lodged between your toes. No, a true wayfarer can travel the whole world and never find just one way. 
but I did want to give you something unusual that I have found on my own travels. May it serve as a reminder that you can find anything if you give it enough time. You're back home early, that was quick, man. Of course I want, Victor. Of course I want you to get a Switch, man. I want everyone to get a Switch, not only you. Sincerely yours, the old wayfarer. I got the bell anchor ship part. To go to the shipyard. Oh, oh, go to the shipyard to customize your ship. How can... How can the old wayfarer send a bell that probably will be large and big? How could he send that to me by using the postman or the postal service? It doesn't make sense. I doubt it that it will be a tiny bell. It's not a tiny bell. It is a big bell. And it <laughs> and it was inside this tiny mailbox. How? By the way, can I save right now? I want to save. I can. Yes, just in case. Because we were able to do some side questing so far. So if I have any problems, the game will be saved. So we have more of those guys. You see the wind is blowing in here. So we need to be careful. Thank you. Things are very expensive in this game, so the more money I get, the better. I'm not sure if I can jump to the other side. I can. Strong wind warning, don't get blown off. Oh boy. Oh! The wind helps me to jump. But should I check... I, I should check the cracked wall, right? Okay, let's check the cracked wall. I'm curious.
you might disappear for a few minutes you need to practice some stuff you're going to re record okay Victor good luck man thankfully inside the house there there is no wind oh it is a core jam nice totally worth it and that's a map right oh I know what this means he's showing me the locations of hidden islands and I was able to find both of them by myself but what is the the purple arrow right there I don't get the point of that I don't know what that is but I will do it in here too Why is it so hard to draw an arrow? Okay, I give up. I wonder if that's a big fish instead of being an arrow because it looks like a big fish. I mean, a big fish shadow. This is the Wayfarer's Journal. You never know where the Wayfaring Winds will take you next. After months upon this windy isle, I discovered smaller islands nearby. But my big discovery, the one that sets my heart aflutter, it's the mermaid. Okay, so that's a big fish for sure. That's where my Wayfaring Destiny takes me next. So we'll need to do some fishing later. Now I need to return to where I was before. How can I do it? Oh, it's easy. Okay. Wait, there is something, not something, but a lot of things uh, buried on the sand, right? Okay, let me change my item. I need a shovel. Am I missing any on oh, wait, any other one? I can't see. No, I believe we are good now. So let's check the cavern.
maybe this is way maybe this is a way to progress so before continuing in here uh, let me be sure that I'm not missing anything else outside Yes, I'm not. But why the the marks on the sand are back? Why are they back? But they are empty now. Okay, give me the boomerang. Okay, we failed in our first attempt. After beating all of them, now we get a new treasure. Money? No, it's a treasure map. Where is it? Right there. But I still don't have the the grappling hook or something to to get treasure. And that's a wisdom gem. I believe it's our first wisdom gem. So I can go down here, but where? This place is huge. Is this really where I was supposed to go? Okay, let me check the cavern again. So it is the it is the place where I was supposed to go, but there is no point on avoiding the wind. You would be able to avoid the enemies, but fighting the enemies turned out to be something good. So the wind in there was very meaningless. Wait, now where do I go? Is that the jump that I need to do? Because it looks like the other side is, is higher than the one that I am. But I need to try, right? Okay, this is where I need to, to go. No, don't miss the rupee.
The tempo entrance stops gusting only when windmills have have had their fill. Windmills. Wow, I just looked outside my window. Okay, I need to take a picture of the sunset in here. It's looking fantastic. I'll be right back. I'm not sure if I can show you the the sunset. Look at that. That's how it's looking outside in here. Man. It's not like that every day. Probably it's one of the most beautiful sunsets in the year so far. I'm pressed, but I need to play the game, so let's go. Oh, they hide gust spots, I see. So let's get the treasure. Another power gem. That might be the fourth one? Yes, I believe it's the fourth one. Hi Drew, how are you doing? Uh, let me pause the game. You need to see how the sunset's looking here today.
Look at that. I just took that picture. That's probably the most beautiful sunset I have seen this year. There's something wrong in here. <clears throat> because I believe I need to be on the other side. Oh, I see. That's how I get there. Yeah, it's looking fantastic in here. Thankfully, I was able to check it out when it was looking the most beautiful Because now it is starting to fade away, right? So it's not looking as beautiful as it was five minutes ago Were you able to finish Soma? There might be a, a gust somewhere around here. Am I wrong? Where could it be? Oh, maybe it is in here. You still have at least two streams left for Soma? Were you able to not scream during your during your stream yesterday? <laughs> you would prefer be done with it now, yeah. You weren't able to finish Luigi's Mansion either, right? so confused well at least Rachel did some good sleeping yesterday so I might be missing something you only spent about two and a half hours on Luigi's, me Luigi's mansion. Yes, I, I thought that you, you weren't able to finish because you changed the game to Soma. So I, I don't think that you can beat Luigi's mansion in two or three hours. Maybe if you are a speed runner, but otherwise, I, I believe it's not possible. Where the hell is the other ghost? I don't get it. How am I liking Phantom Hourglass? So far it's alright, it's not the best and it's not the worst game. But like Jojo said uh, in the past stream, the game needs to grow, like uh, it, it takes some time until things really get serious in here. 
You miss the sunset, man. Uh, it's still looking very good outside here, but something like five minutes or ten minutes minutes ago, this is how the sunset was looking outside. It is, right? I'm glad that I was able to see it before it fade away. The thing that I'm missing the most in this game so far is side questing, exploration. It has it but it is still very very timid uh, or it is not very strong when i played minish cap for example it felt much better than this game because minish cap had a lot of exploration and side quest and they happened like all the time in here it's one or two and just sometimes so the game so far is pressuring me to, to progress instead of doing exploration. But like Jojo said, probably it's just for the beginning. Maybe later I'll have more freedom and I'll be able to find more secrets. But yes, I'm missing finding some pieces of heart, uh, some other things. I, I have some treasures to get though. I need to to hunt for some treasures at some point but i still don't have the item i know where i can get it but i'm not sure if i'm already ready to to buy it oh maybe i need to go to the to the other side right there but it shouldn't be like that but yes victor right now i'm stuck in here I'm trying to solve the gust puzzle. Maybe there is another gust in this side? Wait. So were you able to record something good? I don't know, I tried looking for all the spots in here and there isn't a gust. You won't record until tomorrow, You're, you were just practicing for now. I see. Okay, I will return and backtrack a little bit because I don't get the point of this uh, it is for a huge dream theater cover of Dancing Mad the only thing I know about dream theater is that they have some very long songs songs that take like 8-10 minutes Maybe more.
I don't get it. This this seems to be the only way. Oh, their longest song is 42 minutes, you see? That's crazy. It's like a, a hearing an album. Lots of their songs are also highly complicated. Are you covering one of those songs that are very long or are you trying to cover uh, a shorter song? Over an hour? Damn God! What is that? Wait, you are doing Dancing Mad from Final Fantasy VI? Which song is that? In the style of Dream Theater. Why are you not covering your favorite Final Fantasy VI song? Which might be Terra's theme. And I can't talk a lot about... Final Fantasy 6 because I believe Drew needs to play it blind. Oh, it is the final boss battle tune, yeah. That song was great, uh, but it was very complex indeed. You have already covered Terra's team, there you go. So confused now. Let's backtrack again. Why does the game not allow me to check this door? I know that I can't progress but it should tell me something like Oh you need, to, you need a key or you need to solve a puzzle before being able to progress in here But it, it doesn't tell me anything But this is the only way I can go
Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. No, never mind. I'm still stuck in here. had pain in your hands or fingers from doing something a lot um, it's not common but maybe it has happened once or twice I believe it, it is called I'm not sure how is it called in English though but it is a thing especially if you type a lot I mean, if you type for many hours, some people have that, that pain. It's important for you to give your fingers some rest. have got that? Your three favorite things to do is all associated with hand issues. You do sometimes too? Well, most of things we do in life are related to our fingers, right? Or our hands. So, you guys need to to rest before you change your work or before you start doing something else with your hands. Guitar playing Rubik's Cube and video games. Yeah, but you can't... <laughs> there is no way that you'll be able to stop using your hands to do stuff. Like, almost everything you do in your life will, will use your hands. And you are bad at resting. Yeah, that's what you should do sometimes. Of course, some activities will be worse than others. But yeah, you need to, to rest your hands a bit. Early does a lot of rock, rock climbing. Are you still doing it early? I, I don't remember you talking that you did some rock climbing recently. Sometimes we sleep with your guitar because you play so much. <laughs> That's cute, Victor. You sleep with your guitar like a teddy bear. You just haven't been doing your Wednesday night climbing. I still haven't done rock climbing in my life. Oh, Drew also climbs? It's, it impresses me how it is strong in, in your country. I have no idea what to do now here. Do you guys have any idea of what to do because I'm so stuck? Of course, answer me if you have never played the game before. So, if you are just guessing like I am right now. Yeah, me neither. I have never tried rock climbing. I, I have, yeah, I know, but th that's the help that I would like to have from a person that never played this game because I'm so stuck right now. I, I'm not, I, I can't find another gust of wind to progress from this part. 
Yeah, the height is something I, I gotta get over, but it might be only in here because I, I don't have any other area to explore. And according to the map, I believe this is the right place to be. And I tried looking for a gust of wind in here, but there isn't one. The only rock climbing that I have done in my life was real rock. I mean, when I was climbing a, a real rock. Why is this so hard? It shouldn't be difficult. Oh, wait a minute. Can I... There we go, yes! Problem solved! Problem solved! That was a, an interesting puzzle, there we go! Sometimes you, you don't need to use the gust of wind, you need to get rid of it! There we go! Sorry for the for the wait, right? But we finally progressed in here. Oh, it seems that I need to be there, okay? There is another map in here. Wait. It's showing me three places that probably are the windmills. So this is one. Uh, this is the second. And this might be the third. Uh, you was relatively casual. You did mostly top ropes at around 5.11 difficulty. One thing that I really recommend you guys to do if you have the chance is ab ceiling. I, I'm not sure if that's the way to say it. I did it last year for the first time and it was very fun. I can actually show a picture. Uh, let me get the picture of it. Of course, while I'm doing this, the emulator and my computer are running super slow. But I will get to it.
okay I found the picture then I need to upload it Okay, there we go. Uh, this is what I recommend you guys to do if you have the chance. It's very good and very fun. You can't read it from here. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, repelling or abseiling. I believe that's another name to say it. It's something like that. Maybe it's... Maybe I'm... You tend to do a lot of repelling? Oh, really? Yeah, it was very fun. I really like... Yeah, I'm ceiling. That's how you write it. Okay. I'm ceiling. Yeah, I really liked doing it. At first I was scared, but it was super fun. The hero must blow on the three sacred windmills to open the path forward. So this was the mechanic. It has a long A sound, so I'm sailing. Really, Victor? If you trust the equipment, then you'd be alright. Ape sailing, okay. Or maybe it is ape sailing? No, it is ape sailing. Ape sailing, okay. Ape sailing. Yes, you, you only need to trust the equipment. That's the first rule of repelling. It is the first thing that they teach you. Trust the equipment. And they are right. Uh, if you trust the equipment, then you don't have to worry about anything else. So, in the game, that's the mechanic that I still remember. That I needed to do something with my microphone to make the wind blow. So let's do it. Now I have these spots where I need to use it, but actually, how can I activate them? Oh, maybe I need to go down here first. A uh, lead climbing. I believe that rappelling would be the only uh, red cow activity that I I'm brave enough to do, or maybe I would also do some uh, zip line or let me see. Uh, do you, I I don't know the name of that in English though. But do you guys know when you have uh, a, a a bridge? At, at top of a forest for example and then you need to to go from one side to another by holding ropes and things like that those things are fun but I'm not brave enough to do some paragliding or uh, parachuting or bungee jumping I'm not that brave yes the, there is a uh, an activity that you need to walk on a bridge or on ropes 
and then you need to hold some some hopes. Yeah, zip lining. Zip lining might be fine. Adventure courses. Okay, so that's the name. Those simple things are better for me than bungee jumping or crazy stuff, right? In here we have a name for that. It is called Arborismo. That's the name of that activity. It is related to trees uh, because the word ar Arborismo is related to trees. It's like crossing trees or crossing above the trees. Creatures that are sensitive to sound dwell in the sands ahead. So walk without a sound and bring as little attention to yourself as possible. If all else fails, flee to a high spot be before the creatures find you. Uh, isn't there a movie, an old movie that is just like that? I'm not sure the name of the movie. Is it Creatures or Critters? Something like that. Maybe it is Worms. I don't know the name of the movie, but th there is a very old movie that people need to be careful to not make sound while walking near the sand because the monsters of the sand will eat them if they hear the, the people. Oh wait, what's that video? Uh, this is an overly long video, but here I am doing some sport climbing. Is that the place Tremors? Maybe that's the name of the movie. Yeah. Is that the place where you do the rock climbing? Wait, where is that? I don't think I'm brave enough to to do it yes I'm totally not brave enough to do it that uh, you never see myself doing it like that no way oh my god but where is that I is that near you is that in Vermont Oh, it is in New Hampshire. It is in a small town called Romney. And it is a huge climbing destination. I see. Oh, that's the monster. Uh, let's try our best in here. You should come up and we can go climbing. Be careful, guys. Don't hurt yourselves. Wait, how could he hear me? I was walking so slowly. Look at that. It's impossible for him to hear me. Okay, we have our first spot. Let's go, 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 go. 
you wish you were brave enough to do that stuff. Rock climbing sounds worse than rappelling, in my opinion. Rappelling is very fun, but rock climbing, I'm not sure if I would do it, because it, it sounds more dangerous, I don't know. You guys have very limited climbing here in Iowa. The only rock climbing that I did, uh, it was in my city actually. We have a... We have a... a let me show you. I, I showed that in the past, but I can show it again. We have a huge rock in, a, in one of our beats in here. And people go there. Uh, people climb that rock to see the view at top of it and it was actually one of the first rails I have done in my life so let me show you the rock and the beach So this is the the beach and you can see the the rock right there and this is the view when you are up there Yeah, but it's easy. It's not very difficult for you to, to climb it. You you climb it from its side. Uh, you don't climb it from the front view of that picture. Let me see if there is another picture that shows people climbing it. I'm, I'm pretty sure there are some pictures of that. Yeah, this is how you climb it. It's it's all right. Uh, it's not very very dangerous. Uh, this picture shows people climbing it. You want to climb it from the front? Some people do it. Some people do it, but normal people will go like the third picture the problem is when the rock is very hot I was in there once and I burned all my hands and feet because it was too hot in there I miss that place. It is one of my favorite places in my city, but it is a little bit far. Uh, it would, it, it, no, it's in my city. It's not in Rio. You can actually see Rio from there. In the horizon. Uh, this is a good picture. In that picture, the horizon right there, uh, where you can see the, the sky uh, and the clouds, that's Rio. Uh, those are mountains, mountains from Rio.
the sand creatures devour, devour, I believe that's the way to say it, devour wherever they find. So feed them bombs, but I don't have bombs. They will have a chance at, you will have a chance of, at survival. I have the plant bombs though. Wait, in my... You mean the pictures that I'm sending? Do you want me to type the name of it? Wait, it is... Uh, that's the... That's the Costão de Itacoatiara. Uh, Itacoatiara is the name of the beach. And Costão is the name of the rock, so it's Costão de Taquatiara. That's how you say that. It might it might be difficult for you to understand it because it is a difficult word in Portuguese for you at least. But yeah, that's the name of that place. You probably don't have that symbol right there, but if you type like that you probably will be able to find the pictures and information there is a, a higher mountain than that in the beach but i have never been there it's called um, elephant rock there is also the elephant rock in there but it is harder for you to get to it than the Costão de Taquatiara. Oh, he's back. Okay, let's see if I can progress now. I don't know, let me check it. You mean the second one? The elephant rock? Wait, rock climbing in sugar loaf? No, that's that's probably the sugar loaf. What? No, 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 that's not in there. You are checking the sugar loaf. The, the sugar loaf is my favorite place in Rio, though. First of all, you are checking a place that it, that is in Rio. And the, the rock that I showed you is not in Rio. Uh, that's Sugarloaf. The Sugarloaf is the place where you find the, the chairlift. So this might be the first blowing object that we need to 
to activate. Maybe windmill, right? It is a windmill, but in a very strange looking. So this is the second windmill. And this is the last one. Uh, what are you trying to look for? Yes, we have some crazy mountains in here. Uh, that's one of the most beautiful things in Rio, right? Because it is a, a big city beneath a lot of mountains and huge mountains. But wh what information were you trying to find about uh, the mountain? So now guys, we can finally start the temple. Let me save the game. I uh, just want to see if you could find information on any climbing routes. Oh, climbing routes. Well, there is the normal one that I showed you, but some people do rock climbing in front of it or in the front part of it. But I'm not sure if you can find information about that. I, I have never f looked for it before. Yes, we are finally inside. Looks like we don't wait. Looks like we won't escape sudden gusts inside the temple either. Be careful. So let's see how difficult this place will be. Oh no, that's a bad start. Be careful. At Sugarloaf, yeah, the Sugarloaf has also some uh, rock climbing information, right? Some people do rock climbing in there. Uh, the Sugarloaf actually is the highest mountain because in that picture you could see two mountains. The first one is Ur Urca, right? It's called Urca. And the second one, the highest one, is the Sugarloaf. Urca is one of my favorite places in Rio. It is also the name of a neighborhood. And it is actually my favorite place in Rio. I love going there. It is very relaxing the neighborhood and the, the beach that you have in there and also the sugarloaf everything is very beautiful in there and it is also near a shopping center so i really like to spend a whole day visiting that place Maybe now I won't need the shovel, so let me get the boomerang again. Wait, that's not what I wanted to do. 
please give me the boomerang. Thank you. Okay, we did some progress. Bombs and switches, I see. So I can activate the other bombs if I throw this one, right? Easy. So the, the smaller mountain, which is called Urca, you can easily climb it if you follow a trail. But the second one, the highest one, which is called Sugarloaf, you will need some equipment to climb it because there, there isn't a proper ta uh, wait a proper trail until the end of it. So I I have never climbed or rock climbed the Sugarloaf. Actually, I would be very scared to do it. So that's not something I would do. But doing the trail to get top of Urca, it is easy and it is great. That's also one of the reasons why I love going to that place, because I always do the, the trail of Urca. People can also take the, the chairlift. But if you do the trail, yeah, it is also... I believe people do rappelling in there. I have seen people doing rappelling in Urca. I would be down to do some rappelling in there. So why do I have bombs in here? Do I need them to something? I don't think I need those bombs because I can use my boomerang. Actually, I can use my sword to activate that. But sometimes the game communicates with you, so maybe maybe those bombs have a reason. Yes, I'm missing something in here. I don't know where though. But the switch is still activated. Oh, maybe turn off the the statues. Link, come on, that wasn't what I want to do. I'm confused. Wait a wait a second. What am I missing? So I can get bombs, but I don't know for what. I don't think I can destroy them.
yeah, maybe it is. I like how at the bottom of the mountain you can find a, 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 a path that people like to... Oh, hey, hey Casper and hey Pilot, how are you guys doing? That doesn't look like too bad of a climb. Yeah, at the bottom you have a, a path that people like to do some walking and running and... I don't know, they... they they really like to spend their time walking around the mountain. Oh, nice to hear that. How was your Halloween? I'm not sure if you celebrate it, probably not. Wait, what's happening? Nice to hear that, man. Someone in decent shape could probably do that with little to no climbing practice. Yeah, I believe that. Um... Urca is one of the most friendly mountains in Rio, in my opinion. Hey, Sherbert, how are you doing? It's not like the evil mountain in Rio, in my opinion at least, which is called Pedra da Gavia. If you look for uh, Ga Gavia rock or something like that, You will find one of the most evil rocks or mountains in Rio. You are bu buried in work. Uh, that's how you you like life to be. Oh, Casper, you got a, re a reward for from Blizzard? They are doing BlizzCon, aren't they? For helping other players. And they sent a message to you, a really cool message. You got a DLC to Scar StarCraft 2. That's nice, man. Congrats. They are doing BlizzCon, aren't they? I, I have heard that BlizzCon would be happening soon. You just got hurt at work? What happened, Sherbert? Uh, did you fall or something like that? I hope it's not something really bad. And Pilot, good luck in your work, man. Friday? Wait, today is Wednesday, so it, it, it still will happen, right? Yeah, Gavia Rock is the unfriendly mountain in Rio, in my opinion. Only people that have a lot of experience or are very brave, they should go there. Because, yeah, Gavia Rock is tough. And a lot of people hurt themselves by trying to climb it or by trying to do the trails in there the gavia rock is evil in my opinion i'm scared of it i'm i'm super scared of it i have had nightmares in the past uh, and in those nightmares i i saw myself falling from it and things like that i'm super scared of the gavia rock actually Two years ago, I went to a mountain that was very close to it, but it was a, a more friendly mountain. But the first thing, when you get to the top of the mountain, the first thing that you see in there is the Gavia rock. So I needed to take a breath and relax before progressing because I got very nervous and scared when I first saw the Gavia mountain. Uh, and when I was very high uh, up the mountain, right? I'm alright, Casper. I'm alright, man. Let me show you the, the view that frightened me in the past. Let me see. Man, I'll never forget when I got there and I saw the freaking Gavia rock in front of me. I was so scared. I was so scared. But yes, this is the place. This is the place where I I was, I believe, two years or one year ago, probably two years. 
you can see the Pedra, Pedra da Gavia or Gavia rock uh, right there and the, the rock that I was. Uh, it is the same as that guy is right now. Yes, up the mountain, yeah, because otherwise I would be high in that way, correct? Uh, from up there, you can see two different neighborhoods in Rio. You can see Barra da Tijuca, uh, which is this one. Or you can see São Conrado, uh, which is this one. So that's the view that you can have when you are atop of either Pedra da Gavia or Gavia Mountain and the other one. I know, Rio is fantastic. Rio is amazing. Thankfully, when I went there, I was in a sunny day, so I was able to see those views. But I was super scared. It, it, the, the, the notion of how, how high you are, it frights you. I was super scared when I went there, but it was worth it. After some time for me to get used to the, to the place, then I, 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 was, I was feeling better after some minutes. You tripped over a stool, so you did fail, right, Sherbert? But are you alright? I hope you are right, man. Okay, let me go back to the game. I'm stuck in here. Maybe I need to fall. Can I fall from here? I can't. So what else can I do? Pilot, did you watch a horror movie yesterday? Oh, I could open that door. It was that simple. You watched a horror movie? Which one? Kurt was here earlier and he watched the new It movie yesterday. Slasher? Slasher is the genre, right? Actually, there is a Netflix series called Slasher. I'm curious about it because I have watched the other Netflix series that was based on Scream. Cabin in the Woods, I have heard about it. It is basically a de 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 wait, deconstruction. Okay, it is basically a deconstruction of the horror movie troops or tropes. Oh, Halloween, I see. So it was uh, Jason, Jason's movie, right? Oh, never mind. That's not Jason's uh, movie, right? Uh, Jason's movie is Friday the, thir the 13th. Have you watched the Netflix series? Based on screen? I watched it. But there is also the... Who's the bad guy in Halloween? It's not Freddy Krueger. But it, it's not Jason. Is it Jason? It's not Jason. Mm, 
Michael Myers. I believe they will do another season for the Netflix series. So I hope it stays being good. Uh, I hope it, it keeps the quality. Oh, we have a fight now. Oh, that's a huge link. Oh look, the boomerang can kill them easily. That was super easy. By the way, pilot, um, do you think I should buy my pizza today? After my stream? Because I'm trying to, to decide if I should buy pizza or burgers today. Uh, let me check it out. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, that guy. Okay, I have seen him before, but I never knew his name. Burgers today and pizza next Tuesday. Maybe I should do it. That's a good idea, actually. But the problem is, if I decide to buy pizza today, I will buy it in another place. It won't be in Domino's. And I will be able to buy uh, sausage pizza. And it would be good. Because yesterday my biggest problem was that I wasn't feeling uh, tempted to, to eat margarita pizza, which is tomato and basil. And that's the pizza that I usually buy in Domino's. But if I buy in, this, in the other pizzeria, like today, I would be able to buy a different toppings for my pizza. They have... But, oh, we don't have, yes, we don't have song requests in here. I don't have bots, actually. But, yes, Domino's they have, but it's more expensive. So, when I'm buying pizza in Domino's, I don't buy the sausage pizza of them. I only buy the margarita one, the tomato and basil, because it's very cheap. The lack of bots make the channel better. Maybe it does. I, I have to agree with you. Maybe someday I will have a bot, but it will do only simple stuff. I, I also can't have song requests going on in my channel because I upload my videos on YouTube. And if I have some uh, copyright songs playing in here, then they would be reported. Or they would give me some problems when I upload them to YouTube. Hey Yoritsuru, hi, how are you doing? We are just trying to progress in the second dungeon of the game. Yes, I need to be careful about song requests. Because after my streams I upload the videos to YouTube. And YouTube has a lot of issues about copyrights. Oritsuru, how's your Chrono Trigger playthrough? I believe you're playing it for your first time, am I right? Maybe not. Actually, maybe not. You are a huge fan of Chrono Cross. So, probably... Probably you have played Chrono Trigger before and you are just replaying it. I might be wrong though, I don't remember. Yes, you just wanted to play the Scream soundtrack. One thing that I really like to do while watching some series is having my smartphone near me and then do you know the Shazam app? Do you know Shazam? 
I, I always use it to get some songs and music from the series that I'm watching or maybe movies. So I recommend you to do it when you are watching series, movies, whatever. You, you, you have the, Ch the Chazan app near you so you can get the names of all the songs. But you haven't played it in a long, long time. You just assembled the Masamune in the storyline, I see. I need to replay it just to get more endings. I should have a bot to suppress the proletariat. Pilot, I don't think I would have that bot, man. But, okay, I will take your suggestion. How can you check if music is copyrighted? I don't know how you can do it, but probably the majority of songs will be copyrighted. There are some pages that allow you to to use some uh, some songs that the 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 owners of the rights they won't complain about it. So it's like free to use songs, but they are very specific and they are usually not uh, popular songs or well-known songs. Victor understands more about music than me, so hopefully he can answer your questions. Yes, that's the way you should do it. You just assume that it is copyrighted and then... Uh, unless it states otherwise. Yeah, very little known music isn't copyrighted, that's the, the problem. But Ritsuru, I want to know when you will be playing Earthbound. Oh, look at that, it's a big chest. Yeah, so it's copyrighted. So there is a treasure chest in here. Uh, it might be... Oh no, I don't want to... To see the place where it is. I don't need to see it. Because I believe it is in here. Uh, this might be a puzzle. Wait, right here. You see those marks on the ground? That might be the puzzle. If it is old enough, it's not copyrighted anymore. Although recorded performance of of it probably still are. Next next game is Earthbound. That's what I wanted to hear, Ritsuru. Uh, where else can I go? I can't go there because there are rock stones. Oh, I can move this. So that's how I got to the other side, right? Wait. No, I don't want your help, sorry. Yeah, if the person wants to claim for their rights, the person will do it. Even if you say that it's not your material. No, I failed. Let's try it again. Oh boy, why is this difficult? 
no 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 don't change the location of that maybe if I jump from above there we go finally open this door So this is a way back, right? Okay. Uh, this is not important. So let's go downstairs. We are fighting again. Oh, are those the... Am I fighting the sand monsters? What am I fighting? Oh, the rock has an enemy. Okay, those are new enemies, but they are choo-choo's, right? Yeah, it is a choo-choo, but they have a, a rock helmet. Oh, there is still one. I can see him in the map. Okay, there we go. Now I need to find some hearts. Okay, maybe I will find some hearts now. Yes. Oh, the two tubes. So what else is going on here? Oh, that's a monster. What's up here? This is a very large area because I can see on the map that if I want to go deeper to the basement too, I will be able to do it. It seems that the door to the stairs is open, so I don't know if I should stay in this floor or if I should keep going deeper
So there is a chest in there. Oh, never mind. Maybe I can't get there. Because the map... Yeah, the map... Uh, tricked me here. Or it lied to me. Yes, I can't get there now. But the map is a lie. So I need to go over here. And solve a puzzle in here. But how? Oh! A Cora Gem! Okay, that's nice, but... What about the rest of the dungeon? Uh, because it wasn't important for me to progress. Do I need to... To drop this? Wait. So oh, this is the wrong place. Maybe that's the right one. Yeah, that's the right one. I was able to finally get to the stairs. I'm seeing a huge arena in here. Maybe we'll have to fight a... A mini boss. The number of treasure chests left here is two. Okay, let's find them. 
But we are probably fighting something first, right? Oh, not these guys, come on! I need the shovel, where is it? When all the pillars of wind rise, the doors will open. Okay, let's mark that. Uh, this is one. This is the one that I opened before. Uh, this is another one. Oh, actually, it's a little bit more to the south. Uh, here. And this is the final one. Okay. So, let's go look for them. Can't you give me a heart, please? No hearts. No, he got me. Oh, there is a cracked wall in there. Okay. Another power gem. This might be my fifth one. Where can I find bombs that are closer to that cracked wall? Oh, okay, I can use 
these bombs, right? Oh, no, I can't. They they vanish after I leave. I wonder if the item of this dungeon will be a bomb bag. Because otherwise I will not be able to crack or, or to blast the wall, right? I won't be able to blast the cracked wall. But wait a minute, am I missing something else because if I return there Can you see that in the map? Oh yeah, there is something right there. But I couldn't see an entrance. Yes, probably I will need bombs and probably it's the item of the dungeon. So what happens after we finish this puzzle? Hey Froggles, yeah this game is a little bit slow, I agree man. Also it is puzzle time so that makes everything even more slower. Oh maybe I need to, to pull it from here. Yes, there we go. Oh yeah, also the emulator, I have to agree. My computer doesn't do the best job in emulating Nintendo DS games. So we got a key. Where can I use it? I 
I remember seeing a locked door, but I don't remember where. Maybe it is to the other side. Yes, it might be because of this dungeon, but in no some, some areas of the game might slow down my emulation. And this dungeon is doing it. But I still think it is still um, playable, so that's why I'm playing the game. Well, let me see. Maybe it is not in this floor. Yeah, it might not be in this floor. So let me see if it is in the first floor. Okay, that was careless. Let's try again. Yes, I believe that the item of the dungeon will be bombs, because I need bombs to reach the boss. So I'm pretty sure it will be the bomb bag by now. But the, the locked door wasn't in here. So let's go down again, maybe it is in the second basement.
it can only be this door right here, right? Okay, there we go. Oh, it is the dungeon item. Or maybe the boss key. But no, it is the dungeon item. And I was right, bombs. Because yes, I need a lot of bombs in here. So let's use them. There are at least two places in here that I need to use bombs. Hey Suri, uh, did you have any issues when trying to set up Roller Coaster Tycoon? Yes. Uh, actually, I, I need to try to remember, but it is a, a, a difficult game to play when you are using, uh, for example, Windows 10, because it, it has some compatibility problems, right? Yes, you need to, to solve that. I can try to help you later, man. But uh, I recommend you to... Let me ask you this. Are you playing the game in full screen? Because you need to, to change that to window screen. You need to change that to window screen. As soon as you change it to window screen, it might work better. And also... Are you playing the Steam version or are you playing the original? Like, do you have the CD room or something? I'm playing the Steam version. And if you check the Steam page of the game, some people will uh, give you some... Yes, are you playing the CD one? Because... I don't know because I have the CD version of the game. It's actually near to me, so I will get it. Uh, this is the first roller coaster tycoon game that I had in the past. I had the expansion pack for the first roller coaster game, so I asked my friend to lend to lend me him uh, wait to lend me his uh, original roller coaster tycoon game so I could install in my computer and then I would be able to install my own original uh, expansion pack and play with it. Yes, I have the CD one, but I was waiting until the roller coaster game for steam uh, got a sale or get a sale right i was waiting until it got a sale and then i i bought it but i also have roller coaster tycoon 2 and 3 but they are in this pack right here the biggest problem to play those games is that they are not uh, compatible to windows anymore so you need to change some compatibilities and also the window size because if you try to play them in full screen it might not work you need to change the game to window size yes i have heard that people bought the games 
in or they found the games inside cereal boxes that's not how i i got the game in here but I recommend you checking the Steam game, especially the reviews about the game, because some people in there, they, they can help you. They, they can tell you what to do in case the game doesn't work for you. But it is a compatibility problem. But yes, if you're trying to play the CD one, try to do a Google research. Maybe a person knows a way for you to uh, to play the game even today in Windows 10, right? Yeah, you see, it is the it is a compatibility problem. But is it working in full screen? Because if you still have some problems about that, try changing the game to Windows size. Uh, you can do it in game in options. There is an option in there that you can change the game to window size. But if it works in full screen, that's even better. When I'm streaming it, I'm playing it in window size. So let me see. There is a secret in here, but I'm not able to open a, a passage. Because there is a huge rupee. Uh, right there and there is a door you see but I don't want to waste all my bones it needs to be in here right here maybe the reason why it's not working is because of the monster Yes, it was because of the monster. There we go. Full screen seems to be working. Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is still crashing though. You might have to do some research. Yes, sorry. Uh, someone might have um, a solution for you. Yeah, but test everything. See if the game is saving. See if you can uh, start the levels. You need to do some testing in there. And I really recommend you to buy the Steam version because it has the it has all the expansion packs. I'm not sure if you have all the expansion packs. And that's all right, Drew. Uh, good luck in your work, man. Hopefully I will be done with this dungeon still today. We might be close to finish it. So this is where I also need to use a bomb. Oh, <laughs> you are off work. Okay, I read I'm off to work. I see, so you just finished your, your work. Uh, was it good? And by the way, have you finished the, the gradings that you were doing yesterday? Okay, I know exactly what to do in here. The game doesn't have a, a bomb line like that without a reason. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, don't tell me I need to be very precise. Okay, I need to be very precise.
Why is it taking forever? Will it only explode when I throw it? Anyways, I did it somehow. You did finish all the grading. You are eating rice, black, black beans and steak. Nice, man. How do you have rice and black beans in there? That sounds familiar. What? Is that a timer? Oh, I have a timer. No. I have a timer. I need to be faster in here. Why don't you have farofa in there, not falafel? Uh, and also, the black beans that you are eating are not sweet, right? They are salty or savory. I should eat the same, you know. I, I should cook the same because I still have black beans. I could cook farofa. I could cook rice and also a salad. But today I feel more like buying something. Oh, this is an enemy. Okay, it is the, the savory dish. That's the good one. And how were you able to, 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 to eat it today? Like, you probably haven't cooked it. So, did you buy it somewhere? Blank faces can hide truth. As well as blemished ones. Study the walls carefully. Also, study the rocks, right? Because... The freaking choo-choo's are real in here. Oh, this might be the answer. This floor tile is suspicious. Maybe? I'm surprised that you could find a place that has black beans. I wonder if it is a Brazilian restaurant, because it sounds like one. I knew it! I have played a lot of Zelda games, I don't fall into those traps. Yeah, Drew was grading some tests. Uh, some biology and chemical tests oh mexican uh which type of steak do you have in there is it a barbecue it's not right I only have two bombs left. But I need to use them because the two twos are back. And of course I missed one. Oh my god. Rip my bombs. Please give me bombs. Nope. No more bombs for me. But I'm missing something in here. Oh, I see. This wall. This wall is a fake wall. I need more bombs. Can I get bombs from the rocks? Come on, game. Are you serious? Where can I find bombs? Also, it sucks that I can only carry 10 bombs. That's a very limited amount.
Okay, let's return there. So that's the the big key chest. Let's do it. Oh yes, I need to carry it. I I, I forgot about that. Uh, wait, drop it and throw the bomb in there. Get it again. Let's go. Okay, let me save the game before trying to fight him. Okay, Drew, alright. You missed the boss fight though. Let's go. Step into the blue light to return to the temple's entrance. This is a huge arena. Oh, it is a, a flying Noctorok? It is a Cyclock, the stealer of the winds. But yes, it, it is like a flying Noctorok. That bloated beast can summon Cyclones. Okay, let's see how this goes. I believe I need to throw some bombs in the cyclones right oh wait I'm... i need to pause the game i changed my emulator right now there we go oh wait i also need to do this okay
could I get him? I I'm not sure if I was able to hit him. Okay, now I could get him. There we go. Yeah, Victor, we are finally fighting him. So far, we hit him twice. What's he doing now? I, I can't see him. And I'm sorry for possible frame drops that just happened. Okay, let's finish him. No, we still need to get him once again. Die! I wonder if I need to use a bomb. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. I'll try using a bomb next time. Because his head seems to be... I don't know, harder than the rest of his body. So maybe he has a protection right there. I, I'll try using a bomb next time. But also he seems to be getting more difficult to fight, so maybe I am doing progress. Yeah, the fight's getting difficult. So I believe I might be doing the right thing. It's just taking long. Wait, how was he able to avoid that? Really? Let's 
let me try using a bomb just in case no it does the same damage so it doesn't matter we did it For a second dungeon, this was a good dungeon. Longer than I was expecting it to be. So, this probably will be the spirit of wisdom, if I'm right. Or maybe it is courage. But I, I would say it is wisdom because of the color of the, of the element in the map. It was blue, so it probably will be wisdom. But I believe that wind is more related to courage in general in Zelda games. But I still think it will be wisdom. Oh yes, we got more sand to our hourglass. That will help us to go deeper inside the Ocean King Palace. That's wisdom, right? I like how the song that's playing right now it is the song of sage wait the song of sages from Ocarina of Time Yeah that's the wisdom spirit for sure it's blue I am Neri, the spirit of wisdom. Why are you not Nairu? Did they try to translate it to, to something else? Or maybe they are different spirits. Or maybe, never mind. Maybe I'm doing a confusion in here. Maybe I'm talking about the gods, uh, Nairu, Din, and Faror. But those are not the gods, those are only spirits, so maybe that's why they have different names. Now the seal has been broken and I'm free. Yeah, this time it is the spirit of wisdom. We came all this way to seek for your help. The Ocean King must be locked up somewhere too. The spirit of power is with you. Of course, I will help. Okay, the spirit of wisdom Neri has joined your group. Find one more spirit to track down the ghost ship. So on Friday, I will be doing some exploration and also we will be back to the Ocean Palace. Or the Ocean King, wait, yeah, the Ocean King Palace. Because you need to find another treasure chart in there, or sea chart. But I also want to do some exploration. Because now I have bombs. I might remember some places that I needed bombs. And also I will try to find the frogs, the golden frogs. And I also want to... Um... To see if I can buy the treasure grappling hand or hook. I'm not sure the name. what's the name of the item in this game. But I need to look for the treasure that is 
in many different areas in the ocean. So that's what I want to do on Friday. So what's the easiest way for me to leave this place? We're almost there. Oh man, an ant just beat me. Well, well, Dorn, you did all right, kid. Looks like you hauled in another spirit, huh? To the temple of the Ocean Kingdom, let's set sail, yes, but I'm not doing that today. Especially because it might be harder than the first puzzle we solved in there. Also, I was able to get a lot of rupees, so maybe I should do some shopping. You know what, before leaving, maybe I should try fishing at least once today. And guess what? I'm starting to get hungry. I need to get my dinner. Wait, where is the music? Oh, it's because we are near the foggy area. But we are safe in here, we are on the other side. You got Cuphead? Apparently your computer didn't light itself on fire trying to run it. Yeah, I don't think Cuphead would be a very difficult game for you to, to run. And good luck! 
Cuphead looks a very hard game. Or it looks like a very hard game. Man, the fish is playing games with me. Oh, a big rupee, thank you. Oh my god, keep giving me those, come on. Oh, never mind, they are big, but they are normal rupees. Yeah, they are normal rupees, oh, come on. There might be a bigger reward, right? If I keep shooting that guy. You tried two levels? You died several times. Are you playing in the diff in a hard difficulty, or are you trying it on in normal mode? You're not sure if you will be playing it again. Are you serious? Don't give up. You will learn some patterns of the fights and bosses and everything. Also, the game has some upgrades that will help you. What's that? Is that a frog? Oh no, it's a projectile. It's an enemy projectile. And now they are... Yeah, now they are causing me some damage. Uh, wait. Where is the fish? Uh, let me go back to my main objective in here. It was normal mode. Yeah, the game is hard, but you will learn the the patterns. Yeah, don't give up. <laughs> you you got the game just to see if it would work on Mac? No way you did that because of it. That's crazy. There is a cyclone in there. Should I check it? You know what? I'll check it. Entirely for... What? You could look on YouTube or... Do some Google research. If the game runs well... On a Mac. Okay, so is there a frog in here? And the ant is freaking... Biting me again. There is an ant biting me. Oh, the the cyclone was a uh, an enemy. It wasn't a teleporter. So 
so I'm disappointed because I was expecting to use it as a fast forward device. Not fast forward, but fast traveling device. Usually pirate first, just to check if you can get it in a running... Wait, if you can get it running in a compat compatibility layer. You can research on Google for that too, right? Also, you can check the reviews of the game on Steam. Because they discuss about that in there. Oh, does this game work on a Mac or in a Windows 10? And if it doesn't work, people will help you. Yeah, Google is less fun, but it is kind of reliable. I, I believe in Google for the most of things. But I don't know anything about Mac, as I have never used one. Okay, things are not looking very good for us right now. But I still wasn't able to get closer to the fish! Oh my god, if that hits me... Where is the pirate? I'm dead. Yep. I could swear I... I defeated him. That's why I decided to leave. But of course he was still alive. And all because of a freaking fish that I wasn't able to... To get close. I give up. I will save everything else for Friday. So let me save and quit now. And I'm hungry so I should buy some food. Let's have at least one day that I'm not cooking. I have been cooking every day. Yes. Should I eat, uh, buy the burgers? Because if I waste 20 reais more than that, then I will be able to have pizza for 3 days. Maybe pizza is a better choice for me. Because I would have pizza today, tomorrow, and probably in the next day. Burgers would only last today. As I buy two burgers. And they... Uh, they are already very expensive. Yeah, three days of no cooking is a pretty great thing. I might... I, I believe I will buy pizza. They are two huge pizzas. So anyways, I'm off to dinner, thank you so much everyone that stopped by, I'll be back with Zelda on Friday, so have a great Wednesday night, I see you guys the next time, take care and goodbye.